There are a lot of different ways to draw line segments inside triangles, and they have special names. I'm going to go through four of them here, and then we'll try a problem and see if we can recognize some of them. First of all is a perpendicular bisector. So that's when you take one of the sides of a triangle and find the midpoint, let's say it's right there, and then you draw a line that's perpendicular. So I'll try to do that the best I can. And you'll notice that uh, where it ends up on the other side isn't necessarily at a vertex, but we've got a perpendicular bisector. So that's perpendicular bisector right there. All right, there's also a thing called an angle bisector. And an angle bisector starts at a vertex, and it's what its important thing is that it cuts that vertex exactly in two. It doesn't matter where it ends up on the other side of the triangle or what angle it ends up there, just that these two angles are the same. And you'll see some kind of notation like that, uh, two arcs or an arcs with a hash mark or something like that to notify you that these two angles are the same and that this is the bisector of that angle. So that is the angle bisector right there. We also have a thing called a median. And what uh, a median does is it starts at some vertex and then it cuts the uh, opposite side exactly in two. So the midpoint of this side is right here. It doesn't do it at a perpendicular. It just cuts it in two and starts from that opposite vertex. So that is our median. And then finally, we have an altitude. This drawing is getting a little full, but an altitude starts from a vertex, and then it drops down and intersects the opposite side at a right angle. And an altitude is important when you're figuring out the area of a triangle because it's uh, one half the base times the altitude that gives you the, the area of a triangle. So that is our altitude. OK, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Let's see if we can uh, recognize a few of these uh, in this, these next problems. So here we're supposed to classify the segment and check any of these that apply. Um, and in this first one, we're looking at this segment AD. And what you can see, it starts at a vertex, it intersects that opposite side, and we've got these markings about the angles being the same. So this arc, this arc, tell you that these two sides of the angle are the same. So this is an angle bisector of A. All right, let's look at B here. So we want to describe segment IO. Okay, I notice it's at a perpendicular uh, to this side. Oh, and we've got these hash marks that tell us that these two halves of the side are the same. So this is a, a bisector. Well, it's a bisector and it's perpendicular. That makes it a perpendicular bisector of side FG. All right, one more. So here, this one starts at a vertex and it goes down and it intersects the other side and, and splits it into two even parts. Doesn't necessarily do that at a perpendicular, just uh, comes down at the midpoint here. This is a median. So that is a little bit of work with classifying the segments that are inside triangles.